Capitol Hill is still contending with the fallout from the revelations in John Bolton's new book. Two GOP senators are signaling that they are open to testimony from President Trump's former national security advisor after he revealed that Trump did not want to release aid to Ukraine until it investigated his political rivals. Those senators are Utah Republican Mitt Romney. I think it's uh, increasingly likely uh, that other Republicans will, uh, will join those of us who think we should hear from John Bolton. And whether uh, there are other witnesses and documents, well, that's another matter. But I think uh, John Bolton's relevance to our decision has, been come, has become increasingly clear. And Susan Collins of Maine, who said the book strengthens the case for witnesses, and that has prompted conversations among her colleagues. Now, will any of those colleagues follow suit? Maybe, if Republicans get to call witnesses of their own as well. Oh, definitely, we get the witnesses. It'll be a one for one or a two for two, but all I can tell you is I sat through this last hour, and that was the most powerful presentation on either side. The White House defense lawyers mostly steered clear of Bolton in their opening arguments. We're going to now delve into the constitutional issues for a bit. Focusing instead on making the case that the impeachment investigation was unconstitutional from the start. The team also tried to clear Rudy Giuliani and went after Hunter Biden. And when Bolton's book finally did come up at the end of the night, the president's defense dismissed it. If a president, any president, were to have done what the Times reported about the contact of the Bolton manuscript, that would not constitute an impeachable offense. Let me repeat, nothing in the Bolton revelations, even if true, would rise to the level of an abuse of power or an impeachable offense. Several senators said they don't expect to begin voting on witnesses until Friday, so lawmakers have just a few days left to make up their minds.